Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. That's right. Pooh Shiesty. Big brr. Big brr. <laughs> What's up with it? He now got a new project out today called Shiesty Season. This your, is this your first project, right? For sure. My first one ever. Now, Absolutely. what is this? Is this a mixtape? Is this an album? Is this an EP? Come close what, to the mic. Close to the mic. It's a mixtape. Mixtape. Yeah. Now, for people that don't know you from Memphis. Yeah, South Memphis. For and sure. you signed with Gucci. Walk, big walk. Now, how did that? How did that come about? My, uh, me in the bed, my middle of the night, one day he takes me on Instagram. Did you couldn't believe it or believe. did you think it was 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 a lie? I couldn't believe this shit. How y'all. old were you then? Cause you're only twenty now, right? Uh, yeah, I was, I'm twenty one now. I okay. was twenty. Okay, okay. Oh, that was last year. Yeah. So he just sent you a DM. Yeah, he takes me. He said, "What's up, home? I couldn't believe it. I grab my phone, get up. I push somebody up on me. I say, hold on, hell no, this shit ain't real. Text him back, I say, we're chopping. He text back. Right then and there, like, he, he was on it. He was waiting on me to text back. He was like, I'm fucking with your mirrors, huh? Who you doing this shit with? No, I put my clothes on, shoot to the, shoot to Pop's house. <laughs> then my manager, I wake his ass. I say, wake up, bro, look. I show him, he couldn't believe he get the sweat. Man, he said, Right then and there, though, while I'm showing him, he texts back. He said, this is my number, FaceTime me. I FaceTime him right there. We was on FaceTime for like six hours. Why? It was already like three in the morning, though. He just mm-hmm. sitting up. We just on FaceTime. Before so, we continue that story, whoever that woman was in the bed with you going to be mad that you just referred to her as a somebody. You I said, you that pushed that, that, push that somebody. <laughs> I ain't that was even talking about all that. Right, look, you know, you know uh, Now, with you being from Memphis, uh, did, did Dolph or, or or Gotti reach out since since they both from, from the same areas? or, or? Yeah, for but, sure. But you never wanted to sign with them or they just never offered a deal or it just wasn't the right situation? Man, it just... Like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never wanted to sign a no battle. It's mm-hmm. just my mentality. Mm-hmm. And you know, in the city, it's like you gotta sign to either one of them. Mm-hmm. You gotta be paper out of CMG. But, so before WAP come, came out, I'm still Chopper Gang. This is my label. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to be like, why you can't be signed to Chopper Gang, CMG, or paper route? Then WAP came, boom, perfect sense, you know? Gotcha. I always wonder how Gucci Man discovers talent. Like, what did he hear? What did he hear of yours? This a genius. He a yeah. genius. But I'm going to tell you what song he heard for sure, Mind Slime. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mind Slime did it for him, and that was the only song he heard. He was like, oh, yeah, I need homes ASAP. Mm-hmm. Heard that so when did you Slime. finally meet him in person? Did you, did, you, did you fly to Atlanta, or did he come out to Memphis, or? We flew to Atlanta, mm-hmm. yep. But it was like I got signed during COVID, so everything locked down and shut down, and everything over, over the phone. But see, so I did. You did the deal over the phone. Didn't meet him in person. No, no, nah, nah, that's crazy. No, nah, nah, I ain't do the deal and stuff over the phone. Yeah. Oh, like I was signed a week before. I had to pop out like with it, mm-hmm. so I had to hold it in. It's hard. It's wop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still probably told some folks <laughs> like my mama or something though. Mm-hmm. You well, know, she gonna tell the whole city. Where would you, where would you post the music at? Same like the streaming services, title and all that. Yeah, I okay. just do. I was just dropping vid- my own. Video paying for my own little run and gun video, post them on my YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then my YouTube channel, I been had it from something else, so it had a lot of subscribers. So I just you go from there. Gotcha. A, a lot of folks, um, a lot of folks nowadays want to stay indie. What yeah. made you say, you know what, now nah, I'm going to do the 1017 Atlantic thing? Man, perfect sense, and they ain't, they ain't come at me on no BS, and, and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So when they did that, and I found out like everything genuine, what really wanted to see me win? It was, come on, man, that was going on. When, when, when did you realize? Too. That's right. When did you realize that it was taking off? When your popularity before you did the deal with WAP? When did you realize it was taking off? Was it one day you walking in the mall and people be like, "Yo, I know who you are"? Or was it your mama heard the record one time? And when did you realize like, "Yo"? It was like out of her, out of her. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. My first song, see, it start off from a verse. I did my first verse on it on Breaking News with me and the gang, Chopper Gang. Mm-hmm. Big Third, of course. I wish he could be here for sure. He come, he missed his flight or whatever. And the other female artist, mm-hmm. boom. The verse on there went viral and it got uploaded. Like, they were like, who is this dude? It was like going retarded. So mm-hmm. 
it went, I couldn't like step out the gate or nothing no more. Four Ryan pay all this, this pool shot. It was real then, but when I knew it took off, when it hit the radio, so gotcha. I knew it went everywhere. Like, yeah, I got put. World. I got put on you from God up because I was listening to the new title playlist. Yeah. And that got up so hard. So I just went down this poo shiesty rabbit hole. And I'm just like, man, this dude is dope. And then it started so, dawning on me, oh, he with Gucci. So then it started to make sense. You, you used to play ball or something? I know how. You know how? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm one of them, one of them players that coach mess with, but can't make the team. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was Charlamagne. That was yeah. Charlamagne. I, like, that, I, he'll use me for practice, get in there, show him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they need an extra man, but I ain't even on the team or nothing. What was Key it? to the locker room. Because <laughs> of behavior or something? Behavior. Yeah. Couldn't get no physical or something. Like yeah. That. But got the talent for sure. That's how it was with me. I used to want to play sports, but I couldn't. I was always suspended and all yeah. types of stupid shit. And I seen when you uh, pulled me, though, like, I was like, ah, oh, this big. Shout out I don't like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, I'm from the South, so I like that new energy, man. Yeah. Like, you know, growing up, I, it was 3-6 yeah. Mafia for yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? And, and Crime Mob mm -hmm. and, you know, T.I. But it's just like I like that energy, and you you give me that energy. So You had this 50-year-old man come into work with a mask on. And my ski mask right the there. Mask I pulled the brown child with my shiesty mask, though. They want pointing gun fingers at me one morning. I'm like, yo, what is wrong with you, yo? <laughs> I'm in here like big brr. He feeling <laughs> slimy one morning. He woke up slamming little dude. Yeah. <laughs> now, well, now, I see you got Dirk on the album, uh, 21 Savage on the tape. How, how did you hook up with them? Man, it's like, um, my Dirk, I've been locked in with him, like, through running through the science studio in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And man, he was like, he was already familiar with it, but you know, I'm been familiar with 21 and, mm -hmm. D type of rapper when I'm little like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just all is running across. So boom, he like I'm fucking with you too. Like we gonna lock in for sure. I got his number, we locked in. Next week later, I'm in there chilling in another session. And then he come in in the science studio again. That day we locked in. I made the beat in my session. I mean I got the beat in my session, made the song, took it over there in his room. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like just locked in, we just a jump room for room, so took it over there. He did it, knocked it out like five minutes. That's the Back in Blood record? Yeah. That yeah. record's tough. What's he that got, mean? He went straight to the mic. What's that mean? School of old niggas. What Back in Blood mean? Retaliation. Mm -hmm. Revenge. Come get it back. Yeah. Yeah. And you got the record with uh, 21 Savage, Box of Churches. Oh, yeah, 21 <laughs> Savage. Well, I ran across 21 Savage, been in eight, or walk, of course. Well, been, like I said, been for me. I watched 21 whole look. Mm -hmm. store so it was like he 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 knew me from like you can see like um uh, still remember video he in mm -hmm. still remember video and everything so it just led up to locking in and getting in the studio one day he pulled up on me now, I made a couple songs now you did I, back in blood you know, you, it, that's retaliation now do you think differently now that you're on like you be like I can't have that same mentality that I had when I was in the streets because now I got Families to feed. I got people he behind. He fresh me. out, man. He fresh mm -mm. out. But still, he, he making fresh a lot out. of money though. Yeah, but don't play with me. Can't play. Don't Even you see Gucci and Jeezy, they squash their beef after years. I ain't no beef line. Can't beef with nobody. I know your level. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know how I go. I respect the fact that you did the Box of Churches record with 21 because people don't give churches chicken the respect they deserve, man. man. I'm, <laughs> I'm serious, man. Them churches biscuits. Will pop out. Biscuit. The biscuits. The biscuits churches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because sure. yeah. Yeah, they got that little honey flavor <laughs> yeah, to them. Yeah, they got the little honey on them. Yeah. Who, for, who put you on the churches? That was the something you did back in the day? They did Memphis. You going to ride past 10 Every churches quarter. before you go home. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm choosing churches for a state. So mm -hmm. you ain't never fuck with Popeyes, KFC, none of that. Yeah, I did, but churches the best. Churches one was the I cheapest was. one too. So the cheapest. <laughs> now, are you still in Memphis, or you decided to move to Atlanta? Because I see Atlanta is everything. Atlanta's open. Atlanta is, is the music scene. You, you running in the artist in the the studio? A, huh? Yeah, for sure. I'm in the A move for sure. But I be wherever I feel like I go to the M too. Like, mm -hmm. I still can walk around my city. I ain't. Not you feel like Memphis is as, as united as it should be? Mm -mm. Hell no. At all. I Hell know, no. man. Memphis ain't Memphis ain't like I for United you can use Atlanta for example, but mm -hmm. Memphis now won't see nobody win. 
They gonna pull you down some type of way. Try to attempt something on you. Try to take something from you. They just miss it. Like, man, they hate. They, mm-hmm. don't, they don't show love. Man. None of that. So because of that, do you, do you why not just stay out the city for a while? It be how they feel the other folks. They ain't gonna do me like that. Mm-hmm. It's up to me now, like it's in my hand. I can sh- bring, make it like Atlanta now. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. I could be the big brother, start showing love, putting niggas on it. Niggas ain't doing it. Mm-hmm. I see you got the song Master P. Mm-hmm. What, what, what did Master P mean to you? you no know, poo, my name poo. Like, Master Poo, like this I have coming, but you know, I feel Master P. Like, I looked up to him and respect his hustle for sure. Mm-hmm. Dude been in the NBA. And yeah, NBA. hell yeah. Yeah, for sure. So you had real hoop dreams, huh, at one point? Yeah, mm-hmm. most of them. Like sixth grade, I was on the team, Hamilton Mill. <laughs> I think I got, I think I had like, I don't know what happened, but I had stopped mm-hmm. going to practice and stuff, got cut from the team. And then been through from there since. You said, I'm going to the street after that. I was through from there since. <laughs> you still do it for practice, though, just to stay in shape a little bit? Yeah, I go to the gym mm-hmm. or whatever. Me and Doug and uh, Fujiano went to the gym a mm-hmm. couple of weeks ago to get a little quick run in. I couldn't even breathe. I, <laughs> nah, I'm going to fill out. I, I want to go back to Memphis for a second, man. It's like if, if if Memphis was united, y'all would easily be that next city from the south with all the talent coming from there. Too Absolutely. much talent. Too much talent. So so what do you think it is? The OGs didn't embrace the youngsters? What was it? I don't I don't get it. They be there, like folks be having this feeling they don't want nobody to pass them or something. Mm-hmm. I don't care, like, long as you know what I'm saying, pay your homage and do right. Keep it, you know what I'm saying? Keep it the chill, like, I don't respect none of this sucker stuff, nigga. Be on. And are you cool with all the Memphis artists? Yeah, like, now nah, I ain't gonna just say cool, but we familiar in some type of way, like, they know me for sure, like. But photo rap, like I went to school with them, or they from my hood, or from the hood behind my hood, or something, like mm-hmm. that. something like that. Does it make it difficult? Like, say you 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 clicked up with Gotti, does that mean you automatically got issues with Dolph? If you click up with Dolph, that mean you automatically got issues with Gotti? With not me, I ain't, mm-hmm. not me. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You don't know if I don't. Mm-hmm. What's the difference in Memphis? Like how you got different zones in ATL? What's the difference in the city? Um, uh, Memphis little, bro. Like, you ain't mm-hmm. even got no, we don't got West Memphis. Ain't no West side. Like, y'all got a West Atlanta, but mm-hmm. they got a West Atlanta. Like, West Memphis is Arkansas. Then, if you keep going too far in the East, East Memphis, you'll be in Mississippi, like, Bad Hay or Mississippi, or like, South Haven, Mississippi. Like, it's little, so you mm-hmm. just got like the East, South, and the North. Yeah. And how did you get the name Pooh Shiesty? Because usually when you hear Shiesty, it's, it's an individual ass niggas don't fuck with. So how did the name Pooh Shiesty come around? This is what it was. Like, everybody want to rock with my music and liking me at first. It's like being a little villain or whatever. But mm-hmm. Pooh, my name, being Mr. Pooh, so Pooh Shiesty. They put the Shiesty on it. Mm-hmm. How you been Pooh? Where the poo? That sound like something from your grandma or mama or somebody mama, gave you. I was yeah. in the womb. I was still in the belly. She rubbed Mr. Pooh. And it went from there, whole neighborhood, Mr. Pooh, from my family, everybody. Did you have any love for Winnie the Pooh as a child? Did it... <laughs> yeah, it yeah, come yeah. from there, too. Yeah. Yeah, they said I love Winnie the Pooh. I might put him on a, a chain. A chain. I know, <laughs> that would make sense, man. Uh, that would make sense. Now, is it more dangerous to be a rapper or a street nigga, Pooh Shiesty? These last two years, rappers. Damn. Last two years. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, last couple years, they been going at the rapper. Everybody, yeah. Is it because the money makes you a target? The fame? What it's is like it? it's like the streets, the rap now. Mm-hmm. Man, these folks on the internet, they gonna do the police job. So right. no, it's all tied together now. Yeah, That's I used to like. I, I used to like it better when rappers was pretending. Mine. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Too many real niggas got into the rap game. No, I ain't gonna say this. Real, yeah, yeah. You right, you right. This what going on now. <laughs> Cause you always on guard. You gotta be on guard in the studio. You gotta be on guard at shows. Like when does a, a rapper ever just get to feel that luxury of just being an artist and ain't gotta worry about the dumb shit? No, it ain't happening no more. Any slipper goes now, so mm-hmm. slip up is always. 
You feel like you got in more trouble as a as a rapper in the in the street? No, never. Mm-hmm. I don't even like I'm on business with the rap. Like, I treat everything like a business. Like then what what I'm at now, like it's too much money to be playing. So I've been had this street mentality. So these features too high. Like hey, I'm going to go do business. Like mm-hmm. it's a mission. Everything. These shows we got to make it home. So now I don't want you. You don't have to answer this question. I don't want you to get jammed up, but when you, when, you, when you saw the footage of somebody they saying is allegedly you in the shootout, what did you think? What's your favorite song upon uh, Shy Season? I like the, I like the uh, Box of Churches. Yeah, that's the jump. I like the, he doing good. He was doing well. <laughs> like he was doing well. I like the Box of Churches. <laughs> I like that. He was doing well. Absolutely. <laughs> now, where you been the last four days, sir? Because I want to Fly in the air. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, see, Cause we know you got a COVID uh, test this morning. We just want to make sure you're protecting yourself out here. And they did the wrong one, too. I told them about that. What, what you mean they did the wrong one? I ain't do the little circle right here on the tip. They turned to us, man, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it could have been worse because they ain't no squabbing in some places. We don't know what you were talking about. <laughs> No, <laughs> Little Hank and Chopper Wop. They down with Chopper Gang? Yeah. Them your artists. Freedom. Okay. Free both of them. They come home. So you got a, you got a whole label? Yep. All right. So the, K Carbon, too. Female artist. Okay, so is it Ch- is Chopper 1017 Atlantic? No, I'm 1017 Atlantic. Chopper Gang, this. Push us and shit. Like, this my shit. So you might take Chopper somewhere else. Somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, not, yeah. So you got a plan. Yeah, we're going up. Absolutely. Let's get into um let's let's play God up real quick, man. Let's do it. Let's play God up. Introduce the record, Pooh Shiesty. Uh this God up, you know. Cali vibe. Playing the guitar, switched it up a little bit. You're gonna feel some versatile on here. Let's do it. Big brr. And if they wanna follow you on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, where they go? Pooh Shiesty, flat out. Ain't nothing else. No ones, no numbers, no underscore. Pooh Shiesty. Just like this. Now, also, you know, with, with the money making, like making a lot of money, investments. Are you thinking about investing back in Memphis, or what? What do you think about as far as investing? Yeah, for sure. I want, I want to almost rebuild Memphis. I want to do it big for Memphis. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, like, I feel like I can make it like how Leonel and that. You got to be more things to do in Memphis. This what problem why it's so much violence. Ain't nothing to do. Yeah, no opportunity. No opportunity. Ain't nothing to do for yeah. real. Yeah, like. yeah, when I go to Memphis, it just seems like things are apart, and then it's just it's like how Detroit used to be. Like you, you see a lot of rundown places. Yeah, and then everything closed early. They scared the folk close everything early. So nothing to do. If it wasn't for rap, what you think you'd be into? Legal. I'd be put up somewhere. Else. I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for rap for show. Sure. Yeah, for real. How proud Crazy. is your mom right now, though, seeing everything that you've been through, man? This the, she my number one. She very proud. Big shout out to mom, dudes. I wish she could be here. She love you, too. Been watching you years. <laughs> tell That's I, how I, I know about you through my mom. Oh, That's man, tell her I appreciate that. Yeah, See, now I feel a, like an old you ass uncle for real now. Old, you old ass uncle <laughs> coming in with a ski mask on talking about better. <laughs> now, it, you know, also, you know. Better. With, you can't slide with that, bro. But, you say better. It's brr. 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 Yeah. We brr. old, man. We don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get y'all right. I got to get y'all right. Now, also, with um, what's the first thing you bought when you made money? And what's the first thing you bought your mama? You know, I bought my mama a car first off. What kind of car? Infinity. A Phantom? A- Infinity. Oh, Infinity. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm, this is the first one. Mm-hmm. You know, she going to do it big, but I had to get her something in, in some ASAP. And what's the first thing you bought yourself? Uh... Your biggest no. purchase so far? Ben's truck. Ben's truck. Yeah. Man, you got to buy a churches, man. Yeah. You got to. Yeah, I got to. Hey, so. Franchise your own churches. That would be dope. Pooh Shiesty on some churches? It's lit. Because it need, all, it, all churches need is a rebrand. They might need to reach out after That's this. It. They going to see this. <laughs> and churches keep it. I be saying churches come in on folks stuff and that. Mm-hmm. Churches tap in, big shots. Let's go. You gonna shoot the video at at the churches with my shirt off? (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Pooh Shice, we appreciate you for joining 100%, us, brother. hundred percent, man. Sure. And we promised we were going to bring a lot of new artists up in here, new artists that are moving the culture. And when this 50-year-old man came in here with a ski mask on, pointing his finger guns at me, we was like, it's time. Yeah, it means something. Yeah, because we, I mean, listen, we've been doing this for a while, 10 years, and, like, we've seen a lot of, like, we saw the Migos early on. Mm-hmm. We saw mm-hmm. a little Baby early on, and I've... I feel like you got that same thing. Absolutely. You know so, what I mean? I appreciate it. I'm like, I, 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 I think Pooh Shiesty is going to be a star star. And you see it. Like, when you felt it, you see it at all top. You ain't hold it in. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for what? Do not suck. I appreciate it. Absolutely. In. And t- tell your mom I said peace. We appreciate it. What's her name? Miss Gladys. Miss Gladys. Yeah. Peace, Miss Gladys. All right. So. Well, it's Pooh Shiesty now. Now, Pooh, you know, we ain't come up here. Like, we've don't. We been at home, so we came up here for you now. We yeah. want you to know that. So you know it's it's serious, man. It's we wish serious. you the best of luck, and hopefully we'll see you again up here. Most definitely. All right, it's Pooh Shiesty. It's The Brr. Breakfast Club. Good morning.